everyone welcome back to my channel today is going to be a makeup tutorial and I'm so excited to share this makeup tutorial with you because not only does it feature a whole new range from one of my favorite brands but also I have some exciting news about a meetup and a competition as well to tell you so make sure you stay tuned to the end for the meetup and the competition but the range I'm going to be using today is new from L'Oreal Paris it's their sculpt range I've done this really kind of glamorous smoky eye makeup look you guys know I love a smoky eye bit of a nude lip as well and then really nice super simple super easy contoured face hope you guys enjoy the tutorial and make sure to stay tuned to the end for details about a London meetup and a competition as well so to start off this look I'm gonna use the new L'Oreal Paris infallible sculpt base you can see now as i'm applying this it's much thinner than a foundation it's much lighter but it still gives good coverage and it actually contains something called grip technology which helps the base to fuse better with the following sculpt products so i'm just buffing that into my skin really lightly starting with my cheeks and blending outwards and I know you've been stressed out too The next product is really exciting because to me this is the star of the show It is the infallible sculpt palette and this is a cream to powder formula So you've basically got the best of both worlds here because you have the cream part of the formula and Creams look really true and really real on the skin and then the kind of powder aspect of the product adds in that really long-lasting finish I'm gonna show you guys how I sculpt my face now now there are two shades of this palette and I'm gonna use this brush which is also by L'Oreal Paris it's their sculpting brush and it's a dual ended brush and it's basically the perfect brush for sculpting the face I use the angled edge of the brush to apply the darker shade and this kind of helps you find the hollow of your cheekbone but I also suck in my cheeks as well just so I know where to apply it then I dip that in the darker shade and I normally take this around my hairline so around my temples and then just below my cheekbone and then all around my jaw as well to give a really kind of chiseled look I need a break to clear my mind I, I, I know I got a few And then I use the flatter side of the dual-ended sculpting brush to apply my highlight I love the shade of these because they're both really matte so they look natural on the skin So I apply that just above where I apply the darker shade And I sweep that above my cheekbones on the tops of my cheekbones and in the center of my forehead And then you kind of look a bit like a tiger which is why I'm roaring Then I go in to blend the product out and I use the same brush and it works so well are blending out the product you guys will see here it might look like they're really harsh lines and they look like they're just gonna be really hard to blend out but you'll see how blendable the product is now and I'm blending out the darker shade first with the brush just kind of buffing it into my skin now the infallible sculpt palette claims to last up to 24 hours and same with the infallible sculpt base as well which is super super long lasting obviously I've never actually personally kept my makeup on that long so if you guys do let me know now this is all kind of blended out you can see how natural it looks on the skin and how easy that was to blend out even though it looks like they're really harsh kind of like stripes and lines you guys can see how easy the L'Oreal Paris sculpt range is to use even though sculpting your face might look really intimidating with these products like you seriously don't need to be a makeup artist you don't need to have any training in makeup absolutely anyone can use them and they just make everything really simple and easy the next product is so cute it's an infallible sculpt blush and this is an ombre blush so you can use it any which way you want I guess there are three shades and there are three individual shades in the actual blush itself you can do a kind of ombre look or you could pick out the individual shades in each blush if you wanted more of a pop of color and I love all three shades I think they're all super gorgeous but I use the shade soft rosy today so then I'm gonna move on to my concealer. I'm using my favorite, favorite L'Oreal True Match Concealer. I apply quite a bit of that because I like quite a full coverage under eye look and I blend it out with my fingers. And then I'm gonna go into my brows. I never really do too much to my brows but I'm using the Brow Artist Sculpt and I'm just gonna run that through my brows. It's like a brow gel, it holds your hairs in place but it adds a bit more of a tint than your usual brow gel. I'm gonna move on to my eyes and I'm gonna start with the Colorish Eyeshadow Primer. This is really great because it kind of even outs veiny eyelids and acts as a really nice grip for the eyeshadows. Now, if anyone knows my smoky eye game, it always starts with sticky notes because I love using these as kind of shadow shields, especially when I'm doing winged liner. It just makes everything super, super easy. These are some of my 
favorite, favorite, favorite eyeshadows ever. They're just so beautiful. They're the L'Oreal Paris Colorish L'Ombre Pure eyeshadows. You guys can see I have so many of them. I love them so much. I can't even begin to tell you. So I'm going to start with the shade Nude 200 and then I'm just going to apply that on my eye staying below the crease. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Matte 106 on a fluffier brush and just blend out any edges. These are all amazing eyeshadows. They're super pigmented. They're super long lasting. They're almost like pressed pigments. So they have such amazing color and blendability to them using one of my favorite shades number 302 on a pencil brush I'm just gonna apply that really delicately in my crease using the fluffy brush again I'm just gonna apply the shade 302 into my crease I just want to darken up my lash line so on a little pencil brush I'm going to use this matte black the shade is number 200 and I'm just going to run that along my lash line really winging it out at the outer corner and this gas money can take us somewhere and then taking a fluffy brush and dipping it in the shade 302 I'm just going to blend that out again so that the black shade kind of smokes up a little bit and then smokes into the more brownier looking shade and then I'm going to do a little bit of winged liner. I'm going to use the Super Liner Black and Sculpt. This has a funny little bobble on the end, but it actually made it so easy to do winged liner. It kind of bends quite easily, so it provides the perfect amount of thickness when you want to wing out that line. You guys can see also it's super, super black and pigmented, really glossy looking. I kind of want to smoke this out a little bit more, so I'm going to use the Colorish Le Smoky Eye Pencil in Black Velour, and I'm going to run that just along where I applied the liquid liner, just so I can smoke it out a bit afterwards. So I'm going to dip my pencil brush back in that black shade, the matte black shade, and run that along so I can smoke out that line and make it like a really nice thick black cat liner. Then I'm going to remove my sticky notes. You guys can see everything is looking nice and sharp. And then I'm going to go in with the False Lash Sculpt Mascara. This has such an amazing wand, I can't even tell you. It has this wing of the brush and it kind of fans out your lashes. And it also adds so much volume. Let's get out of town. Just me and, you. and then I'm going to go back in with my Colorish Le Smoky Eyeliner and apply a lot of eyeliner in the waterline. I want this look to be quite evening, quite smoky. I love this lipstick. It is so gorgeous. I just had to go and fetch it from my handbag so I could tell you guys the shade. This is the Colorish Lipstick in JLo's Nude. I can't even tell you how much I love this lipstick range. I have every single shade. And I think my other favorite is Julianne's Nude, which is slightly pinkier and then Naomi's Nude, which is slightly peachier. So <laughs> those are my top three. And then I wanted to go over with this matte gloss because I think the finish of it is really cool. So I'm just applying that over the top. The super exciting part of the video has come because I'm going to be doing an in-store appearance with L'Oreal Paris and Superdrug. It's gonna be on the 27th of February, which is a Saturday. So hopefully I know so many of you guys work or have uni or school or something. So hopefully you'll be able to make it because it's on a Saturday. It's from 11 till 1 p.m. 11 a.m. till 1 p.m. And it's at the Superdrug Marble Arch store. So hopefully you guys can make it down. You don't have to RSVP or anything. Just come down from 11 to 1. I will be there. We can meet. We can have a chat. We can take pictures. We can talk about the new L'Oreal Paris range. And I am so, 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 so excited. The next thing I want to tell you guys about is the competition. And the prize is so, so, so amazing. So what's up for grabs is £2,000 worth of shopping vouchers on Love to Shop. The entire L'Oreal Paris makeup range which is worth over £2,500. So the total value of the prize for the competition is worth £4,500. So to enter what you have to do is take a Sculpt Your Way picture like this one which I've put on the screen right now. It kind of reminds me of a tiger so I kind of roared in this video a bit. Make sure to be using the L'Oreal Paris products and you can post on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. Twitter and Facebook are at L'Oreal Paris UK and Instagram is at L'Oreal Paris Official. And make sure to hashtag Sculpt Your Way. The competition is open 
from the 10th of February till the 9th of March. So good luck anyone that is entering. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Hopefully I'll get to meet quite a few of you on the 27th of February. I'm gonna be going now and I'll hopefully see you guys very soon. Bye. <laughs>my camera out tonight for the second installment of AL Home because we're still using that hashtag as I'm like trying to make you know in Mean Girls when Karen tries to make so fetch a thing like that's me with AL Home like I'm trying to make AL Home a thing people <laughs> anyway second installment of AL Home is here